it's something that you're aware of that makes a difference to everything that you do. I had a vision that we were at the hospital lobby and white streams of smoke were coming to the native people's mouths and they had a sense of enlightenment, almost like they changed their posture. There's a war going on. There's something way beyond the natural realm, what we can see, what we can touch, what we can taste. There's a spiritual world and it's real. You're born with all your muscles, but they, they don't work when you're born. And you have to use them, and then they grow in strength. And faith is the same way. People stopping us on mountain passes, that they say, hey, a team came to my village several months ago, and a blind man was healed. And I've been wondering, how do I follow this Jesus? At one point, I'm just not even watching the road because I don't want to. And it's hot, and I'm crammed, and I can't move my legs. My camera is stuffed in between me and what's in front of me. Man, I gave my life to Jesus today or something. Man. Like, it was amazing. And they're like, what? He's like, yeah, you should come to church tonight. But they're smoking weed, dude. They don't know they're brand new. When the ship came, all of a sudden, his family was like, no, 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 you have to see if they can do anything for you. I got a little uh, GPS ping from one of my friends in at the mouth of the Amazon. He said, look where we are. And I looked down, and all I could see was green. It was like, but there was a river under there, and he was there with his teams on his boat. What am I supposed to do? How you talk to a killer? And so I just sat next to him, and I looked into his eyes. He looked into my eyes, and I'm like, oh, dear. We started sitting on a chair, and your hands would move, but your hips couldn't move. It's okay, you can do your cultural stuff outside the church, but when you come to church, this is how you're supposed to be. There's just battles in your life that nobody knows, and nobody fully understands. I've had people ask me, was there ever a time when you were really tempted to quit? It's silly to even think it now, but I just felt like I, I should just give up. I, I couldn't write anymore. This was it. And I just wept, and I wept for hours. And I couldn't eat. It's hard to sleep. Like, everyone has obedience, but it's your choice whether to be obedient or not to Him. And we'd not only obey, but we'd obey for the long term. We'd not only fall in love, but we would stay in love. That with my life, if it's full of faith, that is His fragrance. And this is why I think we need movies like this. People need to see that Jesus is real, for real.